Please give a warm welcome to the president and CEO of Little Caesars, David Scrivano. Mr. I, entrepreneur, businessman, visionary, legend. But to me, he was my mentor. He was my friend. He was a second father. He was a regular guy, humble and kind, that did extraordinary things. You know, I had the privilege of spending countless hours one-on-one -on -one with him in the stores, at his office, on his plane, at business events, and of course, at his dining room table at home. And sometimes I think, wow, here I am, a guy from Warren that majored in biology, started as an assistant manager in the pizza business, and I had the good fortune of learning from Mike Illich. So here are the lessons that I learned. Now these are probably not taught in business school, but this is Mr. I, in my mind. Ideas, pizza, pizza. He told me once, David, I was driving down Telegraph, I saw a billboard, get a pan can of paint, buy a can of paint, get a can of paint free. We could do that with pizza. The conveyor oven. He said, years ago, I was looking in a baking magazine, and on the back counter there was a traveling oven, small one. I thought, let's make it big so we can make pizzas. Crazy bread, crazy eights, crazy sticks, let's do some crazy things. Automated production, cinnamon sticks, layered pizzas, breakfast pizzas, late night pizzas, chocolate cherry cheesecake pizzas, pizza for a buck, pizza pizza plus a pizza. Mr. I, stop! He said, David, never run out of ideas. Sometimes you'll strike out, sometimes you'll hit a single, but wait for that home run. Hot and ready. Be humble. He told me often, Davey, in my wildest dreams, I never thought it would get this big. Don't let all that success get to you. The crew, the managers, they're just as important as your vice presidents maybe more. In the end, character's all you got, David. If you give them respect, they'll give you respect. He dreamed. David, one day will be number one. Just keep working hard and treat the people right. Keep the quality of the pie. You know we have the best dough, sauce, and cheese in this business. If we do it right, nobody can beat us on price. Give the customer the best price. He said, I figure everyone's got five bucks in their pocket. If we can sell it for five bucks, everyone will buy it. And he said, you don't know how much the people can do until you let them try. You'll be amazed at what they can accomplish. Having fun. Now, back in the late 90s, our chain was struggling, as many of you know. We needed to dramatically reduce spending. But Mr. I said, David, we need to do something special and fun. So I put a plan together to have our very first manager's rally. I thought we should get nearly 1,000 people together for training, inspiration, fun, right here in Detroit. Mr. I said, hey, will it be fun? Will it get the managers fired up? I said, yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, knowing that we needed to reduce cost, he said, hey, how much will it cost? Well, <laughs> uh, pause. How about $400,000, brace. Okay, Davey, let's do it. But don't tell Mrs. I. <laughs> <laughs> Family and love. Now, how does this relate to business? I think it might be the most important thing. Mr. I knew all my kids. 
their sports, their schoolwork, their personalities. So many phone calls started with, how's the family? Did Colleen do well in her race? How many saves did Matt have in his hockey game last night? But it went way beyond my family. He thought of the store crew, the managers, our colleagues, our franchisees, all as part of our family. David, we're getting big, but don't lose the family. About a decade ago, he called me from Florida. Now, he was supposed to be on vacation. It was one of the shortest conversations that we ever had. Hi, Mr. I. How are you? Hey, David, I want to put the words of family company on every box. Okay, Mr. I. Okay, thanks, babe. Bye. And so it is, from then until today, a family company is on every box. So what did I learn from Mr. I? How did he become a great entrepreneur, businessman, visionary, and legend? What did he stand for? He had ideas. He was humble. He dreamed. He had fun, and he loved all like family. David, when I'm no longer here, you be sure to let him know what we stand for. Mr. I, mission accomplished. Well, the first store.